Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Time for You, where um, we are looking together in the same direction um, of the three principles. And um, my name is Shelia Stevens, and I live near Frankfurt am Main in Germany. This is my lovely um, colleague, Leah Vanley from Zurich, Switzerland. Say hello, Leah. Hi. <laughs> And um, in today's episode, we want to talk about which insights and what seeing have gotten bigger or gone deeper um, since coming to this understanding. And um, it, it's personal sharing. So mm -hmm. we're just going to be speaking for ourselves and we hope that it will spark something or you in you or you'll find some sort of good feeling in you that leads to a deeper insight for yourself so leah i think you can probably remember um one of my very first insights um in the three principles understanding very much was around the principle of thought mm. um seeing for the first time how much on a daily basis I was thinking about myself and how I'm doing in the world. Mm -hmm. And anyone who thinks about themselves all the time knows it's just one of the, one of the most stressful things you can do <laughs> <laughs> uh, innocently. Yeah. And um, it was a big, weight off of my shoulders to mm -hmm. to see that and um i think we talked about it on the my secret life summit um how we just start noticing more and more when i was doing that and mm -hmm. being able more and more to just let that those thoughts be those thoughts and pass on through and and not put so much focus on them and that brought up um already a tremendous um freedom and lightness um in in my life and what i though started to see more and more um was more about the principle of mind that's that's mm -hmm. kind of the area i think where life has been really leading me in mm -hmm. the last 2 years um, I think we talked about it a little bit on the first episode. Like I have a very busy mind sometimes. And the last two years, I got caught up a lot in my personal thinking, not even noticing it a lot of the time. Um, and sometimes by getting lost in it or not noticing it as much, um, I would get into a lot of trouble, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um you know if it was just having like a lot of panic attacks or stressful stressful feelings in my body and mm -hmm. things of that nature and I wasn't as awake to it as I had been the many many years before mm -hmm. like, like something for years after my first insight I was just awake to thought I was awake to mm -hmm. it. I was on it. I was awake to it. I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, there's no way I wasn't going to see it. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of fell back asleep to mm. it, you know, but what kind of saved me in quotation marks was by falling asleep to the principle of thought a bit, I woke up more to, mm -hmm. to the universal principle of mind because sometimes when I was this is just a metaphor when, when I was just on my knees mm. under the weight of, you know, whatever consequences, like some heavy thinking had had, I would be in a sort of a, a place of surrender. Mm -hmm. And I would come to a place where I just knew I can't figure this out by myself. I can't, I don't know. I don't know the way forward on my own like the little personal show you. Mm -hmm. And what would, what began to happen would be that I would just like, I'm, I'm, you can't see me right now on the podcast, but it's just like, <laughs> um, 
mm-hmm. open my arms and be like, you know, I need some help. Mm-hmm. And and who I was asking for help was mind in a in a mm-hmm. in an essence. You know, mm-hmm. you could say it's a prayer to God. It's a it's a it's an appeal a, appeal to my my whole self to my mm-hmm. deeper self. It doesn't matter what you call it, but something beyond our personal self mm-hmm. that knows more than I do. Mm-hmm has the big picture and and the answers and the guidance. And oftentimes in those moments of surrender, I would get the most impactful, surprising answers. Hmm. And I would literally hear them in my ear. Like, you know, some people Mm -hmm. when they, how we, how we hear mind or feel mind or see mind, like it's different for everybody. You know, you talk about sometimes like a nudge or Mm-hmm. It, it will come to you how it comes to you. I, I literally hear it. I hear mm. words. And, and I would, I would get that information and things would begin to shift and change mm. and, and get better. Mm-hmm. And I started to get interested more and more to the bigger mind Hmm. and less and less interested in my personal mind that was any way asleep and running in circles. (laughs) (laughs) And yeah, that's what's, that's, what's been deeper for me. Hmm. And it's, um, it's a journey that I continue to be on Mm -hmm. really intentionally Mm -hmm. also, Mm -hmm. um, maybe for the first time in a, in my life, you know, just, sitting down like almost in in a way they would talk about meditation Mm -hmm. um sitting down intentionally to be still letting my thoughts calm and Mm -hmm. just seeing what wisdom is coming up arising up with from within me Mm -hmm. and um that's just been a really beautiful Mm -hmm. thing and it's been so it feels like just a warm hug and a Mm -hmm. and a and a and just a big help for for me in my life. So, mm. yeah. What about yeah. you? Falling into the hands of God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's not free fall. It's yeah, mm. being held. Yeah, oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. I, I, I just a, a poem or a, a sentence came to me, and I really I have to look it up. I just heard it somewhere. Pro, I think it's a Zen saying, and it kind of reminds me how I how I see it at the moment, and it goes like. A house is a house, and a mountain is a mountain, and a river is a river, and then you see something deeply, and then the house is not a house anymore, and the mountain is not a mountain, and the river is not a river, and that's how it felt, everything changed everything was different and what I see now is a house is a house and a mountain is a mountain and the river is a river and it's I'm in awe still every day deeply touched by life and totally into the normal (laughs) everyday stuff like family life and 
friends and work and whatever shows up, but it's not out there, it's here right now. And it's not big, it's little and small and and big, of course. And what's also really interesting, I I had a lot of I had a journey before the three principles, like I've searched and I was I was also really into strange things, <laughs> magical things, mm -hmm. uh, energy, psychology, and um, whatever was out there. I for sure did a workshop or had a certification or whatever. And in a very gentle way, a lot of those modalities came back to me. Mm -hmm. And it's not a neediness, it's just seeing, oh, they've seen something too. They're built on insights mm -hmm. and they can be helpful for people or a moment always through the lens of how we really work and who we are, like the three principles as my standing, grounding, being in life. So it's, it's settled, the insight I had. Mm -hmm. And Still, my f first two insights are the ones that carry me through everything. And they, they have fruit or they did grow fruit, so it, it did spread in every area of my life somehow. Mm -hmm. But I'm back on earth. Mm -hmm. I was up in the sky with one part of me and it it feels like coming back together, being present in this life in this lifetime, mm -hmm. the way I'm in life as a mother, as a as a lover, as a friend, as a teacher, as a coach, very down to earth, and having a lot of space for ooh, what's what's next, what mm -hmm. shows up, where. Where do we go? But mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? It it totally makes sense. And it's it's so funny because, you know, I I, I told you I wanted to have a conversation with you this week. And I wanted it's true. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, there's some things I've been seeing. Like I feel like I noticed when we do our German podcasts. And I think really for me, you just put words to something that I really noticed coming through you also when you were speaking but we never really talked about it concretely mm -hmm. um and I can really feel that shift you know because I remember back in 220 like you were really <laughs> up in the clouds like <laughs> up here <laughs> like woo, like that first insight that that put your butt on the bench and had you like mm -hmm. looking at trees for days on ends or weeks on end where you, mm -hmm. you couldn't function in the physical world. For a while. <clears throat> no. Mm -hmm. And, um, and really that uh, ethereal kind of thing. And, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and the last couple of months I've really kind of felt the, you coming back down your feet, like on the ground, like 
falling back in love. I mean, not that you were always in love with, with mm-hmm. life. It's not like you fell out of love with life or anything. It just, I felt the, the gravity, mm-hmm. um, like pulling you back down to be here. Yes. In mm-hmm. this, in this, this game of life. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, you're in, you're all in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm so glad we had this conversation. Yeah, Sorry, too. I didn't want to interrupt you. No, I just wanted to tell you, the listener, like it it never it it always unfolds mm-hmm. in your way. Yeah. In your way. And it's always perfect, even when it doesn't feel like it. Mm-hmm. There there is an unfolding yeah mm-hmm. I'm glad you said that Leah because I can tell you the last two years did not feel like it was unfolding in a I great know. way for me at all it's just kind of now where I'm a little more kind of back like I was having a conversation with Michael Neal the other day and I was like he was like <laughs> welcome back <laughs> I'm like thanks I'm glad to be back <laughs> you know like yeah, me too <laughs> online instead of only offline mm-hmm. and it was a it was a long period. It wasn't just a couple of weeks or a couple of months. It was a couple of years mm-hmm. and um, it was painful in a lot of ways. And that, that was the beauty of this conversation today. You know, seeing that even that mm-hmm. brought me to the next mm-hmm. depth of insight mm-hmm. into mind. Yeah. You know, and I hadn't, I hadn't talked about that any, in any way, even though I, mm-hmm. I also felt it for myself. So, yeah, wherever mm-hmm. you are, be um, a listener, you're you're good, even if it doesn't look that way or feel that way at the moment. Mm-hmm. Something good is unfolding. Yeah, yeah. So, thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed this time for you, and um, we'll listen in again, hear each other again um, on the next episode. We look forward to that. Bye. Bye.